Chapter 11 of Just Stories, The Kind That Never Grow Old by Renford Hurst, S.T.S. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. The Gift of Holy Joy I have in my mind a lovely picture. You will find it on the cover of Manna. It represents a little Savior holding in one hand some spears of golden wheat, in the other, almost invisible though, a bunch of juicy grapes and that reminds me of a sweet, sweet story of long ago. Ruth was her name, and she was the dearest girlie in the world, always gentle and quick to smile. Even when a tiny baby in her cradle, she was ever breathed in smiles. Other babies were less glad-hearted at times, but not Ruth. She had the gift of holy joy. She speaks with the angels of God, mothers would whisper. And so she grew up, always her same sweet self. When she was old enough to understand, her mother told her all about Bethlehem's babe, and the angels, and the shepherds, and the three holy kings, and, well, everything about the Christ child. Now Ruth had few playmates. Often she was all alone at home. So one day, she said in her charming way, Mother dear, don't you think little Jesus will come and play with me if I ask him to? Maybe he will, darling, Mother answered, for she knew that her holy child was dear to the heart of God. Then Ruth made a tiny altar in her little room, with statues and candles and flowers and many nice things, and every day she prayed before it. Little Jesus, she would whisper, please come and play with me. And what happened? One morning a divine boy stood there, with long beautiful hair, lovely eyes, and garments that angels must have made. In his hands he held spears of wheat and a bunch of grapes. I am your Jesus, he said, and because of your goodness I have come to play and talk with you. Ah, how heavenly her gift of holy joy became then. And so they played together for many days, and the Christ child taught her more than you or I could learn in years and years. And Ruth's face, so quick to smile, became radiant with a light that was not of earth. She speaks with God, they whispered in awe. But only her mother knew, for Ruth told mother everything. Then came a day when Ruth cried. It was some time before her first Holy Communion. Little Jesus had said, I am going to leave you now, and you will not see me in this way again for a long, long time. But in Holy Communion I will come to you often, and just as really and just as truly. My gentle Ruth must now merit the blessedness of those who see not and yet believe. And then the Christ child mysteriously added, You will hear of a beautiful house, where many white-robed maidens dwell. You will become one of them, and your heart will then overflow still more with the spirit of holy joy. You will have to suffer in order to become more like me. Then, when I come once more as you see me now, bearing spears of wheat and a bunch of grapes, I will take you home to heaven with me. Softly he kissed her forehead and disappeared. Years passed. There were years full of blessed joy in the frequent reception of Holy Communion, and another source of joy was added. Ruth had heard of the home where white-robed maidens dwell in the loving service of Christ. She had become one of those maidens and the others, when they saw the heavenly peace that was reflected from her eyes, and felt the deep, holy calm of her religious joy, would whisper, She speaks with God. Again years passed away. Ruth became old. Suffering came. Sickness came. But she remembered what little Jesus had told her. You will have to suffer in order to become more like me. And she was content. But always she likewise remembered those other words of his, when I come once more, as you see me now, bearing spears of wheat and a bunch of grapes, I will take you home to heaven with me. So in holy joy she waited, and every sweet in her memory was the soft kiss he had given her when she saw him last. Again years passed. Ruth became very old and weak and infirm. She could no longer walk. And one day, at her earnest request, white-robed maidens carried her to the chapel and tenderly placed her at the foot of the altar there. My Jesus, why do you delay? 
she whispered longingly, looking at the tabernacle door. And then suddenly he stood before her there. He, her beautiful Jesus, just as he had come to her in her girlhood days, bearing in his hands spears of wheat and a bunch of grapes. She knew that he had come to take her home to heaven with him. And with a happy little sigh and a smile of joy, she closed her eyes in death. Reverently they laid her to rest, and over her modest grave the white-robed maidens placed the inscription, Here lies Sister Ruth, who was blessed by our Lord with the gift of holy joy. End of chapter 11